We thought we'd have time, and it turns out we didn't have any time at all, so we delivered the first baby. Twins, Aiden and Caden, are meeting Saskatoon paramedics Luke Deval and Tom Barbier for what they believe is the first time. He came up pretty quick, and uh, as we said, he came out breached, so that means basically bum or feet first. And while the twins may not recognize this paramedic duo, they actually met five years ago on a day Samantha Warren says is mostly a blur. I just remember being put into the ambulance. I remember still getting the IV and I remember the, them telling me like, oh, I think we'll make it to Saskatoon and no, there was no waiting at all. On March 28, 2011, at the age of 20 years old, Warren's water broke, so she went to her local hospital in North Battleford. There, she was told they are not equipped to deliver twins, so it was best for her to go to a Saskatoon hospital. When we showed up, we were quick to put her on the bed and into the ambulance, and it didn't take long after that, and we started seeing what we call the crowning. So when you start seeing babies a part of the baby coming out basically and as we said breach deliveries means that either the butt or the feet come out first. I was really scared I didn't know what to expect with the way the labor was going how it was progressing so fast. Both paramedics did their best to keep control of their traumatic situation which included keeping Warren calm but the oldest twin Aiden had different plans. Before reaching Saskatoon's Royal University Hospital, Duval and Barbier had no choice but to pull this ambulance over near Langham on Highway 16, just 32 kilometers from Saskatoon, to deliver baby number one. Seeing a person on there taking their last breath or their first breath, we're lucky enough to be able to share uh, in a, a brief part of their lives and be able to try and make a difference. It's still from this day, like even talking about it, it's very shaky for me and just it's overwhelming. Just so grateful with how they were and how, how helpful and pretty much just saving saving my baby boy. With the boys now five years old and it recently being National Paramedic Services Week, a time to recognize first responders for the physically and mentally demanding work they often face on a daily basis, Warren knew this would be the perfect time to say thank you to the two men who had an invaluable impact on her family. With Aiden getting older, everybody always talks to him about him being born on the side of the road and I just thought it would be good like now that they're five they're starting to understand a lot more better so I definitely thought it would be a good idea so hopefully they can remember it when they're older. It's just grateful that I get to do this, I get to meet them and hopefully get to have a conversation and say thank you to them for everything that they did. We do a lot of really bad calls and often even good calls but at the end of the day you often don't know what happened to your patients, you don't know the outcome, you don't know what the family, how you've affected them. This is that type of call where we'll, you'll never ever forget in your career and uh, and so this just makes it like another 10 notches up higher on my list because yeah absolutely now I know these little guys and I think it's gonna be neat to like Tom says meet them again in five ten years from now. Again, big thank you to Samantha for coming out and I'll encourage anybody to do that on EMS week come and give your paramedic a hug.